Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today, I've got an OBD2 scanner, but it's not like the ones that I usually have, whether it's a big tablet or a handheld device with a cord. Today, I'm testing the X-Tool AnyScan A30M. How could it be in a little box like this? Well, you haven't seen anything yet. You open up the box and that's it. It's got a couple of cards in there. No instructions. This little thing pairs to your mobile device, your iPad, any tablet, your cell phone, Android or iOS Apple. Through Bluetooth, everything this reads, including real-time data, when your engine's running, onto your mobile device. You just plug this thing into your OBD2 port underneath your dashboard of your car. How many times do you plug in an OBD port and you're like, I can't see anything. You can't even find your port because it's so dark. They thought of that and this I've never seen. On each side of it, it has a button. So you can use one finger or two fingers. And it's a light so you can find your OBD2 port. So you pair this to your mobile device, you get in your car, you turn it on, you have it running, you'll have real-time data, and this has up to 26 reset options. This has lifetime updates, so it doesn't matter when you buy it, you can press a button and download the latest software for your particular vehicle. So you get that dreaded check engine light, which I just got the first time ever for my wife's car. 2013 Mercedes-Benz ML350. I have no idea what the problem is, so it's perfect timing to do this review. I'm gonna download the AnyScan app on either iOS or Android. All right, here we go. I'm gonna plug it in. So to get started, you have to first pair your phone to your Bluetooth. So you turn on your Bluetooth and it pairs instantly. Then when you try to press the auto scan button, it prompts you to enter uh, your information such as your email and the serial number of the device, as well as an activation code, which of course I needed to get from the box, the two cards. So while I entered the information into there, it activated instantly. But because this is a Mercedes-Benz, I needed to download the specific software for my particular car. That took two seconds. Went back in there and it's all ready. As you can guys see from the dash, I have a check engine light. First time ever in this car. So it sensed the car, the VIN number. And we'll do an automatic scan. Looks like we have four faults. Engine electronics. Control unit for telematic services. Instrument cluster. Electronic ignition lock. Head unit fault. Collision prevention assist. It just shut off by itself. I don't know why. So after a full scan, it was scanning about 106 or so different components. And out of 106 components, I had 18 faults. From 19 on, it was all pass and good. Everything else had some kind of fault. I looked at each individual fault, and it looks like the major one is number 18 which is engine electronics i know that sounds kind of serious but i looked at the diagnoses and the fault itself you can just read the dtc and it says the heater for oxygen sensor one in bank one has an electronic fault so with this car it's a common thing for the wiring to fray or touch the ground causing a short circuit or maybe you have rust in the area and it's not grounding correctly 
So I screenshotted it so I can take a look at the codes myself and do some research on my own. I look through the other codes, the 17 other codes, and they're all very minor stuff and does not have any problems. For instance, the fuel pump. Well, there's nothing wrong with the fuel pump, but yet it does say like a battery is weak or something. It's probably the auxiliary battery. So it's going to show a lot of inconsistencies, but you don't necessarily have any specific symptoms of these faults. So now that I know what the problem is, at least the major problem, I'm going to try to delete all the DTC codes. Because they're not serious codes, like for instance, this was a registration is expired for your telematic services. I don't even know what that is. So I looked through every one of the faults individually just to do my due diligence. But in the end, I've decided that I'm just going to clear all the codes and see what happens. So I press the clear all DTCs and it just going through 1 through 18, clearing each and every one of those codes. And if it passes, it passes until it senses later on that there's still a problem and it'll come back on again. But everything else seems to have cleared except for the top three. which is the engine electronics, the O2 sensor, control unit for telematics services, which is the registration expired, and the fuel pump. Well, like I said, there's nothing wrong with my fuel pump. So I think it's just the battery is weak uh, with the auxiliary battery that's in the car. I figured now I'm going to attempt to individually clear the codes and see if they erase even though it says it's cleared it, when you do a scan again, it still shows the first three. So I need to fix those three faults, otherwise it will not pass inspection. But at least now I know exactly what's wrong with my car and what needs attention. As you can see, I still have a check engine light. That's because it could not clear the more serious ones, which is the fuel pump thing and also the oxygen sensors. So as you saw, we had 18 fault codes. Some of the fault codes had four individually, but out of the 18, only three were kind of critical. And in my opinion, the second one, which was the um, keyless go thing, that just meant that the registration is expired. You know what I mean? For satellite radio and all that stuff. Uh, so that's not really important. The fuel pump thing kind of worries me, but hard drive's fine. There's nothing wrong with the fuel pump. I think it's just a weak battery auxiliary battery maybe but i think the main thing that's causing the check engine light is the bank one upstream oxygen sensor has like a short circuit or maybe the wire is frayed or it touched the muffler and it's like burnt and so there's a ground problem so i think if i just change that uh, oxygen sensor or jack up the car and check out the wiring jiggle it around or something it may go away as you saw, I was able to clear all the DTC codes. So it cleared 15 out of the 18 faults. The other three wouldn't clear because the fault still exists. A lot of this stuff is connected to each other. For instance, if you fixed one, it would probably get rid of like half of them. But this little thing gave you all the information what was wrong with your car. <laughs> Too much information. So much information that my mind is blowing up. In the beginning when I installed this, I used a very old Samsung Galaxy S8. And I've never updated it in like five years. So if you have a super old device that you want to pair this with, it's probably not going to work to all its functions, which is why it kept on resetting. So I used my iPhone, the one that I'm recording with right now. And that's an iPhone 13. And the Benz package loaded up perfect and it worked fantastic. I love how the signal goes to 33 feet, meaning you could be on your phone in your living room with your car running outside doing the diagnostic checks. Very convenient. You don't have to sit in the car the whole time. When you first use it, you do have to enter the serial number as well as the activation code for the first time to get in. But like I said, this thing has been very convenient. Just pop
pop this in your glove compartment. You have the app on your phone anytime and anywhere you are. If you've got a check engine light, you can figure out exactly what's wrong with it. Car still runs and drives fine. It's just that if inspection comes around, you're gonna have to fix those fault codes, otherwise you won't pass inspection. So I think it's just an oxygen sensor. Leave your comments below if you think it's just the oxygen sensor. How easy and how hard is it for me to replace it or to diagnose exactly what's wrong with it? I probably have to climb under the car and inspect the sensor myself. But thanks to the X-Tool AnyScan A30M pocket size OBD2 diagnostic tool, wireless, I don't have to take it to a mechanic because I know what's wrong with it. So don't pay your stealership hundreds of dollars to diagnose what you could do for free. This thing is on sale now for about 120 something dollars. You guys want one for yourself or check out all other X-Tool OBD2 diagnostic tool devices. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's product review. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you next time on Mowers and Blowers.